Welcome to Odoo Tutorial by Basam Infotech. Today we will be discussing about how to receive goods and perform quality control on them. As quality control is an important process for any organization to improve their marketing and productivity. So let's start. First, before receiving the goods, we have to set up quality control points. Because when we set up these points, whenever a good is received, the quality will be triggered. So to set up a quality control point, we have to go to the quality module. Then from within the quality module, select the quality control menu and click on quality points. So to create a new quality control point, click on create. On clicking create, we will be presented with a form view where we can give the title to the particular quality control point and we can select the product or product categories on, on which these quality controls have to be triggered. If we select the product, then on receiving on creating purchase order for that product. This quality control point will be triggered. If we want this to uh, apply for multiple products, then we can either select multiple products in the products column or select a category of products by selecting product categories. Then the next step is to select a point where this particular quality control should be triggered. Like it can be delivery receipts or internal transfers. So for this example, we will select receipts. That is when we create purchase order and uh, stock picking is in triggered, then a quality control will also be triggered. So, after selecting receipts, we can save this by clicking on save. After setting up the type of operation where this particular quality control is to be triggered, we can set the type of quality checking to proceed. Like it can be a pass or fail, where we can specify whether the product has passed the quality checking or failed, or it can be like providing some instructions to the quality checking individual or like uh, taking a picture and uploading it to a room, like that. But for this example, we will select pass or fail. And then once we have saved, selected all these required values, we can just save the quality control point by clicking save. After setting up the quality control point, next step is to see it in action. So in order to see that, the inventory user, when he logs into the inventory and selects a transfer, if a quality check has been triggered for it, he can see the quality checking tab. So, to do that, we will navigate to the inventory and select the transfers. From there, we can select the receipts. In the receipts, the user can see that there is a quality checking triggered for it by using the button quality check. So, on clicking that quality check button, he will have three quality checking actions for each of the products from the particular transfer. So, on clicking the first one, you can see that there is an option to mark it as passed or failed as well as an option to give some instructions or notes right, based on the quality checking. So after giving his remarks in the notes field, he can mark the product as passed or failed based on the quality check he has performed. So if the product has passed the quality checking, the user can click pass and this particular product will be marked as passed the quality checking. So these steps can be performed for the remaining products also in the same transfer and once the quality checking is completed, the user can go to the transfer and mark validate and so the transfer will be confirmed. Suppose there are some some product that has failed the quality control process then the user can mark as failed and then there is an option to create an alert for the quality checking of that particular product. So there is a button known as create alert. On clicking create alert the quality control will alert will be created for the corresponding quality check wherein the user can provide the title and other details like the description, any corrective actions required for that particular product and the preventive actions to prevent like that. So some necessary details can be provided and a quality alert can be triggered. And the responsible person for that particular quality alert can also be marked so that he will be able to see and take the necessary actions. So a quality alert after it's created then whenever the action takes place, like any preventive actions are taken, the particular stage can be changed to confirm action proposed and as well as if the, once it is solved, once the, call, due the action due to which the particular quality checking was failed or the product, the defective product, if it has been fixed, then the quality alert can be marked to solved. So there are some reporting features available in quality control module of Odoo. Like, for quality checks, you can click on quality checks reporting and view a basic reporting 
for the number of quality checks issued and the number of uh, quality check actions passed and failed etc so we have a bar graph view a pivot view and the different types of photo reporting views available here the reporting features available for quality HX is also available for quality alerts where we can see different reporting views away of Odoo for the alerts created and their status. So this is how quality control can be performed with Odoo. Thank you.